Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now, the other day I was uh, discussing with a friend of mine and he wanted to know where the chassis number of a car is or what is a chassis number. And then he was sort of confused because obviously he wanted to sell his car and then someone was asking him for his chassis number but he had no idea what the chassis number was or in fact what the chassis number meant. Now, chassis number is, is like a, an identification for your car so a company when it makes a vehicle it knows where the, the car is made which part of the region the car has come from and what is the serial number so it's an identity which is called as the chassis number now first what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you all where the chassis number is located in a car and then the next part will be where i will be showing you what the chassis number is meant so without wasting much time let's get you educated so now this is my bmw 318i if you don't know i have purchased this one so somewhere a link will come here where i you can see all the details about this car the review about this car everything in fact it it, it has done a uh, just completed 13,000 kilometers yes and it's it's gone through the first service as well so eating up a lot of kilometers anyway starting off with there are about five different ways to check your chassis number for your car chassis number or the win number the win number is called as vehicle identification number or otherwise it's called as a chassis number now there are various positions so the first way to check the chassis number is if you have a registration card for your car or the paper on which it will be mentioned your chassis number if you cannot find that a very quick way to check your chassis number is uh, on your left hand side of your windscreen and where the dashboard and the windscreen meets you can see the the chassis number which is mentioned here it may be on the left side or the right side depending on the manufacturer but usually it is in this region now the next way to check is inside when you open the driver's side door and you can see either out here or you may see it here like a plate which has all the details in fact it also has uh, a, a color code if you ever want to oh, look, there's one other tip to find your color code so there is a color code and also the chassis number is mentioned out here and then you can find that easily now if you if you cannot find out of that too as well there is another way let me show you that so another way is if you pop open your hood i have already done that and if i just open it up so now usually behind the engine or the front uh, chassis member has uh, uh, the the chassis number mentioned out here in this case my car doesn't have it out here so the next point to check is next to the the washer fluid the windscreen washer fluid which is somewhere about here and then as you can see my car has this mentioned pretty much out here as you can see and various manufacturers may give it to you on this side or on the other side but it's usually in this this area that you can see so you can just find out and it's pretty easy now the last way to check the the win number or the chassis number is to go at the back now let me take you at the back side so the next way to find out the chassis number is at the bottom of your car so where usually the 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 spare wheel sits but in my case i don't have a spare wheel but just this and if you see at the corners i can't actually find out but it's usually at at the corner of this this uh, corner of this side or on that side but it is usually mentioned out here if which is you cannot find it on the engine side then you can find it out here so what i forgot to mention before was that chassis number consists of total uh, letters or mixture of numbers and letters which is about 17 the total numbers are 17 so that is why uh, and that too especially if the cars are manufactured after 1989 which is like after that the, the codes were pretty standardized so they had only 17 characters so the chassis number will have 17 characters if it is less than 17 which is between 11 to 17 then the car is probably 
uh, uh, pre-1989 or 81 when when the letters were a little shorter, uh, the, the chassis numbers were a little shorter and they had less characters in it. Anyways, now the chassis number which is right here on your screen, this consists of 17 characters. Now, this is, uh, this is actually divided into three groups, yes. So three groups and a single letter, which is the 10th letter, uh, which I am going to come to that as well. So starting off with the first group, which is from the first character to the third character. Now, the first character represents the continent in which the car was manufactured. So if it's an Asian, African, uh, European or Middle East or wherever the, the continent is where the car was manufactured that that, that first character signifies that the second uh, the second uh, character signifies which country the car was manufactured in and the, the third character represents what type of vehicle it is it may be a car it may be a truck it may be a bus it may be a bike so that is the first group which signifies exactly the location and what type of car the next five characters are put in another group which is the second group and the, that group basically contains all the vehicle information. The first two characters contains the vehicle type, what type of vehicle it is, sedan or whatever. And then the next letter, the next two letters represent the, the engine type of the car. And the last letter represents the model that your car is. So it may be a base variant or the top end or or, or, or whichever it is, based on that, the, the, the letters are assigned and it's all up to the companies to give them a letter which is in their database. Also, in, in before when the continents and the countries in group one, when they are mentioned, they also, every, every company uh, manufacturer has their own database of codes through which they identify the vehicles. Now, moving on, we were on from the first three characters to the next five, and now we come to the ninth character. Now, the ninth character is basically like a verification letter, which is which is like a proof that is it's 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 the chassis number which has been verified by the manufacturer. So it may have different sort of letters in it, and again, those letters are. In, in, in an individual manufacturer's list of codes and then based on that they verify if this is the right chassis number or not. Now the next group is the, the last group which contains characters from 10 to 17. Now the 10th character which is shown here in this, this, this photo out here, the 10th character represents the model year when, in which your car was manufactured. Now again, that, that is just a character or a, or, a, or, a, or a number, but again, if you go into the company's database, they know which, which year this was manufactured in. So the 11th character represents which plant the car was manufactured and assembled in or or more like which plant the car was assembled in so now you get the, the the all the all the letters from 1 till the 11th where the entire car has been tracked down from the continent to the country to the plant and also what type of the car it is the the engine the, the variant and the engine size and all of it. The last six characters are just numbers and they represent the, the serial number of the car, that is the production number of a car. So that is pretty much it, all the 17 characters explained to you. And the next time when someone asks you, you may not know this, but otherwise you may at least know where to show the chassis number, which is your, your uh, like about five different places that we saw. So you can see about like five different places. You can check out your chassis number. And also if you ever want to know what your chassis number means, then you can always use this video and get to know what it is. Anyways, from next week, I am going to start reviewing a lot of bunch of cars that are going to come around and it's pretty much about i can tell you about seven cars are coming currently and it's all going to be in a month just make sure to follow my instagram or where or all my social media profiles and i'll be posting all my updates out there and you can just participate and let me know what you all want to see from the particular car. I hope this video was helpful to you guys and it at least clears out a few things and it makes your task of finding a used car or verifying a used car much much easier. Anyways, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come 
as I mentioned before, a lot more car content is coming up. So make sure to subscribe. Until we meet next time, bye-bye.